little project I'm going to work on today. Um, these are echo worthy solar panels, 100 watt, 12 volt panels. And these are a couple of the 600, got another one sitting back here, that I was thinking about putting on the roof that I've told you about in a uh, previous video. But I uh, went camping this past weekend and took my Blue Eddy SP200. It did a great job, but uh, wasn't enough wattage. So what I'm thinking is I'm gonna turn these two Echo Worthies into a portable suitcase panel. Now, is it the most convenient? No, a little bit bigger than most portable panels, but um, I'm gonna give it a go and see what it looks like. show you what I got. Finished a little project here. But basically we have a suitcase panel now. We just put a handle on, drilled four holes for the handle, screwed it down. I use nuts um, on the back of these screws, uh, machine screws, just uh, I was afraid to use machine screws on these because of you know the weight picking it up and down. And I might even put another one. I actually got two of these. So I'm thinking I might put another one here. We'll see how this one goes. So you have a little bit double strength, but uh, we'll see. Right now, this one seems to be going pretty good. It's not that heavy. You got two, two 100 watt panels. And basically to keep them closed, you just got these little clips right here. And all they do is stick on. And now we open our panel up. If you look on the back side, close it here for you. We just put two hinges on them, screwed them together, and I put nuts on the back of these screws as well. So it opens all the way up, and you can lean them up against something or um, set something underneath them to, to get an angle or just lay them down flat. But basically now we have another 200 watts of panels and basically all I have to do is parallel these together and I don't have the Y cords with me but parallel those together use my SP200 solar panel with these and they'll be in series and this will run my AC200P it'll run uh, EB150 and we have 400 watts of solar panels so tell me what you think I'm going to show you um, it in action here with the uh, SP200 and uh, we'll take a look and see how many watts we're getting out of them. All right, here we go. We got our new suitcase panel, 200 watts connected in parallel. We got our SP200, 200 watts. Now we connected these two. Let me come over here and do this again so you can see better. Connected this one. And this one together in series and we have it running into our EB150 and our EB150 needs some juice because we just used it and let's see how many watts we're getting if you can see that it's 301 well, that's dropping a little bit but we're bouncing around 302 and if I can position that, which I'm going to go try to do real quick. So let me stop you for a second and see if I can't position that suitcase panel a little bit. Move the panels a little bit. And it's just the time of day. I've angled it. And I'm, I'm hovering around 289. But this was at one bar when it uh, started. And where I've already recaptured that or excuse me, not one bar. We had lost one bar, and it's already recaptured it. But 
you can see it's it should start charging there in a second or it could be topped off it may already be topped off oh, there we go I don't know why it did that we're climbing again Yeah, she's probably just about topped off. Yeah, I know when they charge, you get to that last uh, few percentage points, they... Uh, slow slow down their charge so we're probably just about topped off we might try to plug something into it and see if that'll draw her back down a little bit so we put a load on it and that's exactly what the issue was we were just about topped off so it uh, was reducing the amount of charge it was getting so we're back up in the 280s uh, we got a load on it of uh, 172, just a fan and a little lamp we use for our chickens. So you can see we're pulling 175 watts in our solar panels. We're bringing in 286. So that's that's what we want to see. Um, now if I took these out in the yard, ran a longer cord. Where I could play with them, I might get you know 10 15 more watts, but it's not worth the hassle. I'm happy with that. Um, I did, as you saw, peak over 300 watts um, with this 400 watts of solar, so I'm gonna be pretty happy with that, and that's going to extend our um, charging power when we're out um, camping. And uh, kind of noticed that because we just took the one panel this weekend and and was in a not a great spot to get a lot of sun, so the extra panel would have helped. So I hope that was uh, informative to you. But there's where we're sitting at right now. All right, we've tested it. Works great. Way to increase your wattage and way to not break the bank. This panel right here, $146 for the panels, for the two of them. Got our two straps, our handle, hinges, maybe $15, $20, I think, uh, for those things. So you're looking at a portable 200 watt panel for, what does it say, $20, $166. Again, that uh, SP200 panel is a great panel, but boy, does it cost some money. Is this as portable and convenient as that one? Probably not, but to be honest, it's not that bad. I didn't weigh it, but it's it's not very heavy. Um, got nice straps here to, to buckle, unbuckle, to keep it folded up. Um, let's go ahead and open it all the way up. So basically, it'll open right up. Got some good strong hinges. Like I say, it's it's not completely uh, ideal, but tell me what you think. I thought it was a pretty good idea, and, and the results I got from it was was pretty good. You know, with the pairing it with the SP200, I was getting 300 watts with it, so you can't beat that. Tell me what you think. Leave it in the comments down below. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel and, and like it. I appreciate uh, your viewership.
and all the help and you know all the views I've been getting I, I thank you for it and uh, just stay tuned we'll give you more content but again on this panel tell me what you think leave it down in the comments below Do, is there anything I could have done better let me know